Hey, what's up, everyone? It is TechWares, and today is November 27th, 2024. And there's been a lot of Intel Arc Battle Mage leaks since my previous video. And VideoCards.com has done a great job of just compiling and releasing news on pretty much all the latest leaks. So I'm just going to go through them real quick. So the first one is uh, pretty much sort of confirms the release date range um, Intel Arc Battle Mage GPUs to launch before the end of the year. And this is according to ZDNet Korea. Let's scroll down here. Uh, a representative from a domestic PC company seems to be uh, like an AIB who requested uh, uh, anon anonymity uh, explained based on supply chain information Intel's second gen ARC graphics cards based on the second gen XE Core Battle Mage are expected to, rele to be released no later than the end of the year so pretty much kind of uh, confirms or just you know reiterates all the previous leaks that uh, Battle Mage uh, DGPUs will be launching in December. All right, so we kind of knew that that rumor's been around for a while now, but yeah, it just it pretty much confirms it. The second uh, second sort of leak rumor: the Intel Arc B five eighty limited edition is listed at $259 so pretty much 260 for the B580 LE which is the limited edition and I guess that's the one that um, is from Intel themselves it's pretty much the uh, you can call it reference card it's the limited edition it's similar to the you know the the GeForce cards that come straight from Nvidia or the reference cards that come straight from uh, AMD. Uh, so as you can see, this is a store listing, uh, e-tailer listing. It shows the Intel Arc B580 limited edition graphics. And as you can see right here, it says uh, 259.55, which is just 260. It also says here, it's worth noting that the Arc A580 is now listed for as low as 100 and $69, which is $170. So the new model is undoubtedly more expensive, but it also comes with more memory. Based on the limited edition, limited information available, it should feature 12 gigs of VRAM. The B580 will therefore end up costing more than the A750 and even A770, which is listed as low as 229 230 at the time of the writing. So, of course, you know, naturally the A series. GPUs prices will decrease because the new B series GPUs will be launching. So that's uh, some information about the prices of the B580 GPU. Now here's a a leak. The Intel Arc B580 Battlemade GPU leak confirms 20 XE2 cores, 12 gigs of VRAM, and a two point 2.85 gigs clock and this information comes from uh, a leak I think it was Geekbench yeah Geekbench so a leak from Geekbench where the alleged Intel Arc GPU was spotted doesn't provide an answer to this question the GPU was tested in Geekbench's op open seal test which is not directly comparable to gaming performance. However, it does apparently confirm one detail, the, X, the XE core count. So we have some information regarding that. You know, I think, honestly, in, just from what I think, I think Intel might be releasing, officially announcing everything today. Uh, it is Wednesday, uh, 27th, like I said earlier in the video, beginning. They should be, honestly, releasing all the information today. Or maybe this week. We'll get a better picture of you know everything, all the details. So here's uh, the B580 information. And I want to take a look at also in this video the Steam Har Hardware Survey. Alright, this is the latest data from the Steam Hardware Survey for a 
up until, you know, uh, October 20, 2024. So this is the latest information. We're, we're looking, I'm taking a look at, we're taking a look at the discrete graphics cards or just the video card uh, data, right? So as you can see here, look, look at what dominates the Steam hardware survey. These are all the top cards that dominate Steam hardware survey. And as you can see, you can see a pattern, right? The top card is the 360. Then you have the 460, the laptop uh, version. Then you have the 460, which is just the desktop version. 1650, 2060, 4060 Ti, 3060 Ti, 3070, 1660 Super, 4070, 3060 laptop version, 1060, 1050. All right. As you can see, these are all mid-range cards. I mean, you can say the, the 3060 is like a low-end card. So I guess low-end to mid-range. That's what dominates Steam. That's what dominates the... PC gaming GPU market. It's these cards that are low to mid range because they're the most affordable, they're the most budget friendly, they're the more most appealing to the average consumer. You know, the average consumer is not going into Best Buy or going into new going on Newegg and getting a 4090. No. That's like very, very small percentage, maybe even 2% of the entire GPU market. So all Intel has to do, and all they're, I think they're trying to do is that they're trying to target this segment of the market because this is what sells the most. This is what people buy the most of. So if they release a great budget-friendly, fairly priced, low to mid-range GPU, it will sell like hotcakes. If the driver's right, if the feature features are great, great ray tracing, great um, AI super sampling, great for productive uh, for productivity, great for 1080p to 1440p gaming. Of course, there's also m many other features they can include. They can have, they can develop, they can release. They, it will sell like hotcakes. And I think that's what they're banking on. That's what that's what they're aiming for. Just imagine if in a couple of months or next year or next two years, we take a look at the Steam hardware survey and we see that it's full of NVIDIA GPUs and you see one Intel GPU here in the top 10 or in the top, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, even in the top 20. If we see an Intel Arc GPU in the top 20, top 15, top 10, Intel is going to continue to develop for its discrete graphics cards because people will be buying it. And then we're going to have a pretty much a fair and healthy market when it comes to the GPUs. We're going to have in NVIDIA, we're going to have Intel being competitive, competing we're gonna have amd competing more choices for the consumer more competition is going to stabilize the prices it's going to be great so this is why i'm rooting for intel i want them to release a gpu that's appealing to majority of the pc audience and honestly i believe they can do it i think they have the talent i think they have uh, the motivation, I think they, I think they'll get it right. Honestly, I, I believe in Intel, so um, I can't wait. The future is bright. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, everyone. Peace.